Hello, 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 everybody. It's your boy, it's your dude, it's J Malls of J Malls Gaming. And we're here today, today, today! We got a demo to play, yeah? To try out, to see what's in for us. I've been keeping an eye out on this game by the creators of Nikkei. Uh, the ant, the. The mobile game ad you probably have gotten multiple times before. Stella Blade, a game that is taking clear inspiration from the Automata, my favorite game of all time. And they've even said this as well. And from the trailer, it looked pretty dang good. And I keep hearing amazing things about the actual gameplay loop and how, like, surprisingly, like, Sekiro it's a, it shockingly is. I almost called the stream uh, Anime Titties Die Twice. But I'm not sure they would want me to put that in my title. So, l let's see what we got going on over here. Parry God may need to... May hey, look. Yeah? From me to you. The Parry God may need to come online for this stream. Let's start the game. Hello, 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 Radon, Crimson, and Milo. Welcome to the stream. Hoping you're having a good day. Pleasure seeing you around. Hope your day's going well. Garlic, onion, chicken in the oven. Oh, that sounds delicious. Okay, we'll go with English here. Yeah, we'll just go with English here. A saving message pops up at the lower left screen when auto-saving. Do not turn off the PS5. Demo version of Stellar Blade. You can play a portion of the game's first section. If you play the full game, you have to complete the demo. The save data. I imagine save data is going to carry over. Stellar Blade, also, dude, like, what is this Halo Infinite UI, hello? Okay, uh, gameplay, standard, show, tutor show tutorial, sure, uh, sure, I like, dude, we got the Xenoblade 3 option here. How long do you want the ponytail? Long? Wait, do I have to click on it? I do. The long or short ponytail? We'll go with long for now. Controls, what is this? Adaptive triggers, sure. I fear how they're going to use the PS5 controller for this. No, it's not. I'm not. Let me rephrase that. I don't fear it. I welcome it. Okay, display. We don't have HDR because, you know, poverty hours over here. Graphics mode. Sh the fuck? Prioritizes frame rate. Boy, you already know I'm going to go here. Uh, motion blur. Get this shit out of the way. Camera shake. Fuck that. Get that out the way. I'll put on one. Uh, what else? Uh, that seems fine to me. Accessibility? Yeah, uh, hold on. I gotta make sure there's an option here. Uh, okay, as, okay, nothing like Boulder's Gate here. Controller. Fire, burst select, range mode, guard, parry, beta skill. Dude, beta. Potion up. Use, I, oh my god, we're actually going full Sekiro here. Quick attack, strong attack, dodge, hold, a sprint, jump. Okay, wow, we have quite a few buttons here. Scan as well. Oh god, I gotta use the center D-pad thing? Oh, Christ. Demon Slayer today? Oh, I hope you enjoy it. S uh, fucking story mode. Get out of here. Normal mode. Let's go. What stream did you tune into? Freaking story mode. Get out of here. Final I'm gonna hope the audio is fine. If not, tell me to, if I up it or lower it. Okay, does the ship have to look like a penis? I'm just saying, right? Music is pretty dang good. I'll say that right now. Dude, the front of the ship kind of reminds me of the front of Origin. Hello, 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 Esther. Welcome to the stream. Hoping you're having a good day. Pleasure you seeing your honor, but day's going well. Are you kidding me? Oh, what's going on, Esther? Did you tune in when I was talking about the ship? Hello, 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 Noob. Welcome to the stream. Hoping you're having a good day. Pleasure you seeing your honor, but day's going well. Okay, well, that could have gone better for Humanity's Fleet. Yeah, no, no kidding, Code Red. We all got like one banned. All available drop pods will be ejected according to protocol B 
Oh, dude, it's like Hell Divers. ODST's inbound. Yeah, just fire them randomly at the city. At this point, screw it. I don't know where we're gonna land, but we're gonna hope and pray. Jesus, take the wheel here. Gonna land in like some ravine or something. There's a demo already? Yeah. It came out earlier today. I bet those airships are powered by bath water. Things I don't need to imagine. So, am I the only one that thinks those look like squid? Can attack from all sides? Hey. If I'm gonna die, it's gonna be because of a backstab. I can't believe we just got backshotted out of the sky. Insane way to start a game. I will say, I do really like the music so far. Chamal's bathwater went? Never. No one needs that, no one wants to trust me. It's actually Xenoblade Y, imagine. Okay, this is straight up the beginning of Xenoblade X, hello? That a ODST. I gotta ho What the fuck was I supposed to do? Well, hello there. Taki. Who? Eve, are you all right? This place is dangerous. Take my hand. Don't tell me what to do. Dude, QTE, why was that in water, and why is the water, like, 5 FPS? Okay. This game is something real- This game is something special, people. Dude, Digivolution is up and running. Did you see? Did you hear? Did you know it was coming? Oh, dude, it's a Dune reference. Are we the least in our geep? Okay, optimal body armor equipped. Let's go. Star descent. Quick attack. Okay. What the hell is this thing? Die, die, die. Okay. I like a sword. It looks cool. Yeah, Nikki developers cooked mood. Dude. Okay. Wait a minute. Hard my ass. Yeah. As if I'm gonna be defensive in this game. I see you still have your combat sensors. Great. Coordinates? The rendezvous point is at two o'clock. Four hundred meters in front From a business standpoint, yeah. I'm more upset that people actually bought it than someone selling it. I mean movers move, let's be fair here. Don't go too far. Fuck off! Yeah, I walked three feet to the left, can't do that. That's how you know we're playing a Sony game. Okay, let's go this way. Hey, so like, what if we like did not get crushed by that? That was close. Hello, 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 Hydro. Welcome to the stream. Hoping you have a good day. Please see me on days going well. I want to test one thing real quick. First of all, holy. Okay. First of all, let me just like reboot my Elgato. Just want to double check a little something, something. Want to make sure the game's choppy and not my capture card. This is your game. I've heard great things about the actual... Chat? There's cosmetics. Chat? Prepare yourselves. This is going to be like the rest of the year for us. Let's go. Jump. Well, the jump's kind of shit, ain't it? Okay, we can work. I can work with that. Hold on. This game better be good. I'm hoping so. We just started, pretty much. If you want to know what the start of this game is, uh, play the beginning of Neo Automata. Oh! Dude, Hawkeye Star Rail reference. Okay, if I've played video games before, the I thing is going to be the play. Oh, I get perfect parried! Oh, dude, we actually are secure. Let's go. Get out of here! Freaking loser. Okay. Oh 
shit, I parried you. Come on. We got I gotta get this parry timing down. Oh god, parry takes a while to get up. Ooh! So if I hold down the parry and block and hit square, I get a special ability. Nice stab, bro. Remove her clo- wait a minute. Oh, there's a skin suit, huh? Let's read the description in case there's lore here. Skin suits are outfits spe specially crafted by Mother Sphere. It covers the body of the airborne squad member and deploys on its own, or expands and contracts depending on the situation. In other words, it's like a living skin. Fascinating. We should read that again. Shield is disabled when you put on the skin suit. Dude, there's no way the pro gamer hour mode here, like the true hard mode, is to do a naked run. That's actually insanely meta. Children born on a starry night, a glorious mission begins. Illuminate Earth as beacons of hope. May you forge a path to the future. Star ten a uh, bartending event? A, a little bit, noob. Okay, it's- can we just all agree that it's wild that there's camel, to camel toe in this game, but I'm not surprised at it. Yeah, we're gonna be hearing about this game for a long time, aren't we? Okay, what's the over under- like, how long till we get a new Kotaku you article are. about this game? Like, that's a real question. Aw, oh, hell yeah, Estus Flask. Why do you need this when you have actual skin? Because why not? Who's this little loser over here? Oh my god, you... I want to get this parry down. Oh! Okay. Okay, I'm getting a couple of those parries then. Alright. Great use of the fucking rush ability there. So like what's the over under on the on the ponytail actually dropping our FPS? Like it's weirdly like Why is the hair like that high quality? Am I the only one noticing that? Like it's shockingly high quality. Hello, 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 Inferno. Welcome to the stream. Hoping you have a good day. Play your senior round of days going well. Uh, maybe I should, like, heal. Are you right, Game of the year 2024. Yeah, I'll probably. Let's be fair here. Take this. It's first aid. What the fuck? I, do I have to, like, redo it? Thank you. I'm talking too busy dying to do articles. Too. There's more of them. Alright, chat, unfortunately we gotta like replay that section, I know. You'll have to watch the screen for a bit longer. Dude, there's like a bit of delay on the parry there, cause like... Like a half second or a second. For the animation. Okay, we got some Let's cool abilities. L1 and Triangle is beta. Was that one of the cursed things from JJK? Yeah, we're actually playing a Sukuna. Who was that one character in JJK that had to take back shots like, this way. to like get someone to be born or something? Like that was an actual plot line. Watch out for Gardner's interception. Wanna buy a PS5 single-handedly? Don't worry, I'm gonna learn how to play this game single-handedly. Let's move. Shout out to the one tire. Okay, real talk though. The locate this reminds me of the beginning of Mass Effect. Like Mass Effect 1. Okay, let's not get hit by that. Dude, it's like Metal Gear Rising! Where's Monsoon? That was close. This isn't looking good. Let's go. What part of this made you think it was possible at any at any point here? Look at this chat! Freaking Diablo villain over here. Let's join them.
Oh, the bulbous sack on my hand. Oh, yes. Dude's a blimp! <laughs> Look out below! Come on and slam! And welcome to the jam! Dude, that whole blimp ship just like came down and like dick smacked it. Oh, my god. No. No. I'm not the only one that noticed the jiggle there, right? The squad's life signs. How care about even those losers? Left. What is this game about? So, um. Do you see the screen right there? That's what it's about. But also, humanity's like on the brink of extinction by an alien apocalypse, so we have to like join the Air Force and like come back down to try and reclaim Earth for humanity. And it sounds like Neo Automata because it is. We haven't completed so far so cool though. Only a few minutes in. Now it's just up to us to see this mission through. Understand? Holy. Um, hello there. Oh, cool. So the ship didn't even kill it. Great. Eve, Looks like ready? an enemy out of Gears of War. Why are the monster designs, like, shockingly good here? Is that a centipede for a head? Oh my god, we got a boss fight. Oh my god, there's a sweeping attack. Okay, well, that could have gone better. Heal up. Ow. Ow. Alright, fair enough. I gotta learn how to play this. Parry him. Okay, I got a couple of parries in there. Heal up. Use the Sakuna finger. Damn it, get out of the way. Beta skill ready, let's go. Yo! Okay, move in. Are there combos here? Okay, I'm getting the parries now. Ow, I need a heal. So get three charges of the heal. Oh, I can perfect dodge as well. There you go. Okay, move in. Move out, move out, move out. There you go. We got a one bang this boss. Easy, dude. Easy win. Hello, 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 winners. Welcome to the stream. Hope you have a good day. Please see you There you go. Dude, the choreography is like weirdly good. Hello? Jesus. Oh my god, the pig's feeding the enemy. It wasn't an alpha, but it was a strong one. It wasn't an alpha, so it can't be me. Well. Even better than during training. You were all together. But then... <laughs> yeah, all your friends are dead. Suck it up. The damage to your body frame is serious. We have to find the supply camp. People on, people on Twitter are idiots, Infant. They just don't listen to them. Wait, Eve. I hear something. Alright, that's the thing you're getting in, please, you know, so you're gonna time. Who the hell? Uh, okay. Got a Death Eater after us. What was that? Alright, over under this person dying. In, like, the Eve, next five minutes. Are you alright? No, we just got, like, annihilated. What part of getting flung 50 feet in the air did make you think we were fine? Dude, it's Sephiroth! Um, who are you? 
What in the fresh hell am I looking at? Oh, the size for arms? Okay. Dude, I love the monster design in this game. Jesus Christ, it's good. Here, friend. It's me you want. It's so imaginative. I'll go for the weaker link. No! Alright, stand in front of the hit. Tank it. There you go. Nice arm, by the way. Need a hand? Everybody clap your hands. Oh! Got firefly. Eve. Get out of here. I like the blood gushing out of the wound. Okay, I don't think it's my... I don't think it's my uh, capture card. This game seems really stuttery. Well, everything died. The end. Everyone died. The end. Okay. We all just saw that statue's dick, right? Like, that wasn't just me. It's quiet. Too quiet. Who's this loser? Make sure to stay cautious. It's a guy from the trailer. That's where the Alpha and AT by is. I think an Elden Ring boss got lost. Yeah, we just run into, like, Red Redon at some point. If I hear, I am Melania. It's weird, because I'm on the performance mode. No, get ready. I mean, the game looks I'll gorgeous. Not just the characters, you know? Ido. So this must oh, be Ido. Seven. Okay. I was wondering what the hell they were yes. talking about there. Nice this statue, the by the way. Final battlefield of civilization. Is this Columbia from Bioshock Infinite? It was also known as a truly colossal city. I, I remember when I posed for that. Something is falling from the sky. Yeah, Strange our hopes and prayer. Also rain. This must be Earth's rain. No, it's we actually a giant seagull taking a leak. We have a job to do here. Okay, so we got our, Okay, now we're near. We got a pod program here. The terrain data's changed recently. Hold the options to view. What? Oh! Hall of Records. Hold on. No, wrong fucking button. Uh, display. Yeah, we're on performance mode. Okay. Hold the button to view. Tacky was the commanding officer of the 7th Airborne Squad, fixed it for yet. They say that... Then the colony's combat situations and speed was unmatched. Correct use of was. Her name is Tacky for a good reason. Was for a good reason. 7th Airborne Squad gets obliterated by Natibas when... While entering the Earth's atmosphere. However, the mission is still a go. Tacky finds Eve and intends to regroup with the squad. Natiba's onslaught practically wipes out Taki's squad. To make matters worse, an unidentified Natiba strikes without warning. Alright. Uh, some dude from Zion, not the Matrix, he, seal, he saved Eve's life from an unidentified Natiba. Would have loved to see that. Though Eve did not trust him at first, Adam suggests that he and Eve work together. I match the cutscene that will be in the main game. Hello, 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 Galaxy. Welcome to the stream. Hope you have a good day. Please see you around raising your well. Bet on PC. Yeah. I mean, it's not even a matter of betting if it would, it would. Careful. Just need the power. Alright, fuck him up. Let's go. Boom! I wonder if we actually have some combos. Dude, the music! Okay, investigate the motherfucker. Come on. Thank you. Ido 7 Silent Street Gateway. 
I mean, I'll probably just play both the DLC and Celeblade. That's a security code. I kind of need to like speed run the DLC for Elden Ring though, because I got Final Fantasy XIV like a week after. Uh, this looks like loot to me. Okay, glad I wasted that. Dude, the sound check's like weirdly good. I can't get over it. Okay, why is R2 the thing to operate things with? Hello? Try entering the cup. All along it manipulates Eve. I wouldn't be surprised. Hint. Yeah, what's the password? God, I gotta remember my Greek. Okay, where's whatever this shit is? Uh. Uh, that. Theta. Uh, then Alpha. Not the guy from Xenoblade. It worked. Probably reads back door or something, let's be fair here. Yeah, thanks, Eve. Because of the city's unstable terrain. Yeah, I'm not blind friendly enough. I can tell that that was happening. Oh my god, we can swim underwater. Dude, Link can never. Wait, what the hell's down here? Dude, there's loot down here. Alright, open it up. To continuously acquire items? Alright, looted. Dude, fish! They both circle Uranus and attack Klingons. I like that. That that one's smart. I like that one. And believes is impossible. Mm-hmm. Clap this thing up. There you go. Move back. Something's fighting me over here. Get it? Oh, come on! Okay, there we go. There's a Legion camp in a place like this. Okay, so far combat seems rather simplistic. I need to get some more enemies on us. I mean, it's also like really early hours, so. Oh my god, it's Final Fantasy. Camp. Welcome to Camp Lazlo. Obtaining Vit coins found near camps. Oh cool, crypto. Your stored items will be retrieved if the space is available. Camp to purchase items, you can learn to train skills at the kiosk. Yeah, vending machine power-ups, let's go. Activate the motherfucker, thank you. I like how we flipped it. How did the demo start? Um, imagine the beginning of Nia Automata. I'm not joking about that. Uh, SP initial- what is this shit? Okay, uh, highly concentrated potion. And therefore, its texture may feel thicker and harder to swallow than a regular potion. Cool, got a sack of cum there. Lingering potion. Twist and drink. As the recovery pace starts work, you might feel itchy, prickly, or strange. Shock grenade. I think the demo's only 40 minutes long, so we'll see. Not enough currency. Shut up. Oh my god, you can change the music? Yes. Why is the music so good? Yeah, I love Breaking Bad. I'm as big on Bitter Call Saul, but I love I love Breaking Bad. Oh, dude, flashback time. Okay. Okay, so now we see how Adam comes into the picture. Okay, we all know this is going to be like the love story for the game, right? Adam and Eve. I mean... What's wrong? Uh, it's nothing. From here on, you have to stay alert. Okay, the little pod thing looks like it has two machine guns, and I bet I see this thing and light something up with them. Okay, I'm gonna stand on my own two feet. Use the shop. Don't want that shit. Uh, skill settings. This is what. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, please. You can learn a new skill. Okay. Change survival. Tra survival tray. Fuck that shit. I gotta go for. Oh, perfect dodge. I can buy that. 
completely evades enemy attacks upon successful perfect dodge, press triangle to perform an additional attack. Oh, we get a counter attack. A successful perfect dodge charges burst energy. Sick. Okay, I'm trying to learn it. At the perfect moment, we'll activate perfect dodge. Okay, I like that. We get blink. Teleport behind the enemy to attack. Stuns the enemy, charges burst energy. Up oh, that's sick. Okay. It's attempting a fatal attack. Oh, so it's like risk reward. If they're going to kill you on that attack, you can use blink. Get behind them and go for a counter attack. Reflex boost makes it easy to use perfect dodge, so it gives you a bigger window. Burst energy recharge. Reflection can only be used when perfect dodge... And enemies attack, counters and stuns the enemy and temporarily increases attack speed. Ooh, after perfect dodge, hold square. So you can either do hold square or you can blink for that. Okay. What about parrying, though? Get a quick one down. That's sick. Perfect parry. So we do have this. Completely parries an enemy attack and damages the enemy's balance. Counter can only be used upon successful perfect parry of an enemy's attack. Moves quickly behind the enemy to a counter, stuns the enemy, this is a combo attack skill. Okay, so you can even invest in dodging a parrying. After perfect parry, hold square and then triangle. Dude, this, is, this sounds sick. Makes it easier to use perfect parry. Okay, I gotta go for that immediately. Not enough SP in my ass. Right over here. Land, uh, leap down on an enemy to execute them. Enemy from behind. Dude, these are sick. Hello? Oh my god, we got combos. Triangle, triangle, triangle. Triangle, square, square, triangle. Oh, dude. This combat system sounds sick. Dude, look at all these combos we already have unlocked. Oh my god, you can hold the button as well. So it's triangle, square, hold square, triangle. Onslaught, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, so just alternate. Then rush is the whole triangle. Lightning rush increases the charging distance and attack power. Rush chain. Ooh, I can chain that as well. Aerial blow. Okay, so we get aerials as well. A slash. So these are like a special attacks. So they got big hitters. Shockwave. Oh my god, we get shockwave. Yes. Triplet. Ox to attack furiously forward. Dude, all of these sound awesome. Hello? We haven't even unlocked... Look, there's two more things to unlock here. That sounds awesome. Okay, I'm really liking how that's looking. Is this the combat music? Okay, I like how it just blared K-pop in our ear. Dude, it sounds awesome. This loser. Oh, I'm stupid. Uh, does it have a penis? All right, easy. I like how that was the perfect dodge tutorial. I just killed it. Cricket slasher. It's one of the Legion's old supply boxes. Do you think this? What do you think of the bartending event? It sucks. I don't like it. So compatibility shouldn't be I don't like any of those, like, just mixed drink shit quests. I'll do them, but they're not my favorite. Let me grab this. Let's go over here. Alright. Okay, look, bad timing, I'll admit. Eve, be careful. Immediately plummets to my death. Thank God we can do that again. Okay, sick. First try, you love to see it. Hang and jump from bars. Okay, there's a butt input there, apparently. You can turn on auto loot. Thank you, Ghost Ray. I appreciate you existing. Thank you. Um, auto loot. I imagine it would be in probably gameplay, let's be fair here. Auto loot items. Thank you. Don't know why that's not on automatically, but we'll, we'll go with that. Hello, 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 Ghost Ray. Welcome to the stream. Hoping you're having a good day. Pleasure you seeing you around. Everybody's going well. Okay, now we get to play the game called Do I Know How to Hold On to This Thing? Oh!
Okay, easy. So I got like a vein effect on the screen as well. Hold on. Do you think I wasn't gonna go over here for loot? Sorry, who do you think whose stream are you on? Jump? Jump man, jump man, jump man. Okay, we move over here. There's another supply box over here. Did someone forget to retrieve this? I'm sure there are more supply boxes. It'll help us survive. So look carefully. Yeah, frame rate's definitely an issue. Hopefully they shore that up after the demo. But the gameplay loop itself is actually really good. The new HSR event is out. Yeah, I played it a bit. Whoa! Oh my god! Jesus, the choreography is good. That felt good. Enemies maintain the stance with balance. Balance is displayed below. Oh my god, it actually is Sekiro. You can knock enemies off balance by performing a perfect parry. Holy crap, we are Sekiro. Okay. Chad, I have to channel some kind of demon within me. I gotta bring back out the Sekiro player. Off balance become groggy. Use retribution to deal massive damage. Okay. I gotta get this parrying time down. Wasn't the most perfect game of all time. Okay. Ow. Get him. Retribution! Ooh, the... Oh, the sta... Ooh! Oh, yeah, twist the blade at him as well. Okay, I like that. I like it a lot. Oh, my God, we gotta fight Star you. All right, hit me out, though. Scan? Oh! Okay, but there's a loot over there. Alright, no, you wanna you wanna play the game, we can play the game. What the fuck? Okay. You died, that's fine, revive. I was totally testing that, totally, that's what I was doing. Okay, this song absolutely reminds me of the Neo song. Ooh. Okay, so far so good. I'm liking the combos. Oh, do I have to, like, go back down and, like... Wait, where are we? Dive? Is there anything good down here? No, I already got this. Okay. For some reason, it spawned me, like, facing away from where we had to go. Okay. Sure. The environments are gorgeous so far. Excellent. I think the timing for the parry is like when they're starting their attack animation. Like as it's coming to you, you have to like hit it. I think that's the timing. Okay, let's jump over here. Okay, maybe not. I feel kind of bad for the little guys. They just get annihilated. Okay. Okay, so when they, like, go to the second phase, they do AoE damage. Got him. There we go. Now for you. A little early in the parry there. Early. Early again. Ow. Okay. I got it. Not a perfect thing. Okay. Damn it.
Okay. I liked the first season of Rebels. I didn't watch much after that. I think I watched season one. I think I only saw season one. I have to get used to the parry timing. Because, like, in each game when there's parrying, it's normally... Like, a, it's, like, slightly different in each like, parry window, so it took a little bit of getting used to. That's fine. It's all learning cuff. The combat definitely seems deep enough already, which is kind of funny because we're in the demo. Right? Like, we're still really early on in this game, and it's already, like, decently complex. You gotta get away from those guys. You gotta hold the pay button down and just press it. it. Might be just a press. Keep holding it down. That'd be a bad habit. Okay, there we go. Your gauge was full. I'm trying to remember how to do those. There's like a lot of mechanics we threw at you early on. Yeah, you gotta hold L1. I kept holding, trying to hold R1 to use the beta skills. There we go. Dude, this city is gorgeous. I know they've got a lot of, like, publicity on, like, the character design and all that. Like, the obvious fan service for the character design. But Jesus Christ, like, actual. Actually, the game is, like, well-constructed so far. Environment design is really good. Zone design is, like, pretty good so far as well. Especially for a city, like, it's not just linear corridors. There's, like, places to explore, loot to get. Customization seems really good. God damn it. Customization seems really good so far as well. Gameplay is in-depth, and I want to learn more about it already. I'm here for it so far. We've already had a boss as well. I mean, I imagine enemy, enemy variety will get better as the game goes on. We're like, what? First, like... Barely even 40 minutes. Hello, 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 Chickster. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. Pull your senior on. Hope you're doing well. You didn't die from the fall. No, I'm just kind of built different. Gravity bows to me, not me to it. Also, thank you. God damn it. Okay, this little motherfucker gotta die. Hold on. Get over it. Yeah, there you go. No! Alright, no. You wanna put. Okay, okay, okay. Heal up. No, you want to play the game, we can play the game. Yeah? How'd that feel? Now for you! God, that feels good to pull off. Ooh! Okay. Okay, good news, we won. Bad news, we only have one heal left. I gotta fight this motherfucker. Get over here. Scan. Where is it? Get Hold on. You're mine. You're mine? Ow. Think you can parry them? You can! Beautiful. Okay. So there's a couple kinds of parries you can do so far. You have perfect parry and then like regular parry. Perfect parry allows, like, the counterattacks. I think breaks this stance as well. Omnibold. Material for gear sockets. Gear. Gear's equipment that can improve each combat capabilities. Gear sockets to boost your desired combat capabilities. You can access gear sockets in the equipment tab by pressing the options button to enter the menu. Let's collect Omnibolts to unlock more slots and equip more gear. Interesting. Let's try that right now. Um, gear. Okay. Combo attack enhancement gear. Level 2 or high plus 14%. Ground empty handed. Oh, there's this lore in the item descriptions as well. Interesting. Nothing in the exospine yet. No earrings. No face decorations. I mean. Okay. 
Missions. Scavenger Adam, go to the Hollow Records. So we have items here. Fish! Oh my god, there's fishing in this game. Hell yeah, dude. Nightiba, I love it when games give us this kind of shit. 2010 was one of the best years for gaming, ever. It was so good. Move over here. Dark Souls was 2011. Yeah, Dark Souls was 2011. From what I remember. God, I love Dark Souls 1, though. So good. Okay, have the drone scan your surrounding area. Scanning locates places you can hang. Uh. Oh! So I can climb up the there, I think. By comparison, this city is looking pretty good. So I may not be able to go from there, but I can probably go up and around. Is what I imagine. Do I have a map? Does, do they give me a map? Um, manual. I don't see a map. It could just be blind. Okay, let's jump up here and see what's going on. Uh, nothing to explore over there, I think. Jump up here. Oh, more loot. Okay. Okay, the level design is like... Easily one of the most surprising elements so far. Really liking it. Rewards you've gone off the beaten path. New enemies to find. New loot to find. So far, so good. Detroit Become Human. I didn't like that game much. It was like near Automata, but told worse. Huh? Wait, there's a fusion cell. Let's open the car's hood. Oh, we can go in the car, I guess? Oh, I can't! Place the fusion cell. Fusion cell? It's a high energy compression battery. Thanks to that, Earth's night isn't dark yet. Oh, it's the previous generation of the infinity cell. Looks like a shake Be weight. Sure to keep that. It's very valuable. I just noticed we have a tie. I just noticed the tie. <laughs> you motherfucker! Hold on. Yeah, Combo City! Oh! Oh! You saw that parry there in the middle there, didn't you? Oh, that felt good. I am such a sucker for, like, the ruined post-apocalyptic city landscapes. God, I have, like, no HP. Now, if I could somehow get another, like, energy... Oh, god damn it! No, not Star! Patrick Star! No. Damn it. I'm not gonna be able to survive this. Maybe I can. We lock it. Never mind. Okay, fun fact, didn't survive it. Who knew? About the fan service. The game got a lot of publicity because of the fan service, but, like, the game is well constructed. So far. If I had any major critiques, it's just the performance so far. Combat's in-depth and really fun. I like it. Oh, I must have gone somewhere. It's a trap. It's a trap. Now nah, let me solo him. I can do it. Thank you. All right, here we go. Watch this shit. Okay. 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 So, so far, not the... Trying. Ooh. Okay, so blow up the environment. So we've got environmental interactions as well. I gotta heal. Okay. Ooh, 
Ooh. Okay. Blocking the plate shield first, so first the second block doesn't actually hurt you. Okay. Ow. Oh yeah, we do have a shield gauge in the bottom left there, huh? You must dodge these attacks. Do I not have like uh iframes? So if they step up the dodge like the right or left, I think. Okay, we perfect dodged it. Buried him. Got him. Okay. Still a lot to learn, but I'm starting to get the hang of it a little bit. Where do we go now? This Sound is a shield going off. And there are traces of Okay. I have unfinished bit Motherfucker! Okay. Nah, I gotta lock in. I gotta lock in. I, 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 we're locking in. Where is this thing? You're on the left. I know you are. You're right there. Dude, is there any way to block him? They gotta, like, dodge when I go in. That enemy placement is mean. Fucking Elden Ring over here with the late attacks. Get over here. Okay. It is not nearly as spammy as you would think it would be. You kind of have to be like careful about every input. Okay. This freaking thing. Beautiful! Nice little piece of revenge there. All three games on the Switch. Um, the numbered ones, yes. There's another game called Xenoblade X that's only on the Wii U, though. It's more like a spin-off. Okay, um, where should we go? I wonder if we're gonna get a mini-map later. Oh, I think there's a ladder in there. Oh, that might just be like... Oh, uh, I thought that was going to be a ladder up there. Final Fantasy VI is goaded. I love it. It's not my favorite, but I love it. To the bus! Enter passcode. How the fuck would I know? So I've got to find a passcode somewhere. And input it, I guess. Can I climb this bus? Dude, that was needed, trust me. Uh, Xenoblade's combat's like, uh... Think of an MMO, or like Dragon Age. It's similar to that. Yeah, for me, I just never really gave a fuck about fan service. Like, if a game wants to show me TNA, I'm not going to be upset about it. If it doesn't have it, I'm not going to get it either way, though. Okay, hint. Follow the markers placed by the Legion. Um, so yeah, follow the markers, right. So, let's pretend I'm not blind for a minute. Let's pretend that I'm, like, not oblivious to obvious things in the map. Can I open the door? I can't. I can't wait for the demo to end because I've been taking too long to like fucking around. Okay, so we can't open that. Yeah, I recommend going in number order for Xenoblade 1, 2, and 3. RPG. It is slow. Bear that in mind. It's like, if you play Dragon Age, it's slow. Also, they're like god awful at like introducing to the combat. If you get any questions, winners, just feel free to ask. I'm not joking. Xenoblade might be one of the worst fucking series out there in terms of teaching you how to play the game. 
Opens from the other side, I guess. Oh, that's sick if that's a shortcut. Okay, now I see why there's been a lot of Sekiro references lately. I'm really starting to see it. From the perfect parrying to the stagger to the actual, like, level design as well. It's like a love letter to a certain number of games, and I love that. I gotta get the parry down. Ooh, I didn't get it there. We got choke slammed? Insane. Investigate. It's like if someone's favorite, the legit, Stella Blade so far feels like if someone's favorite game was Sekiro and Nier Automata. May your memories live on. That's a really good combination, by the way. Like, I say that with the best of intentions. Like, that is not an insult at anything. That's just, this has a lot of potential in my eyes. A lot of it. It's like only, only kind of main weakness so far is that its performance is kind of shit. And I'm even on the performance mode. Like, I wish I could get, like, a FPS indicator working for my Elgato, but... Just to get some actual numbers, but I can feel the depths. I've heard a lot of great things about Kotor. I want to get into it at one point. It kind of seems like it's aged a bit for my eyes, but we'll see. Continue Dragon's Dogma 2. Yeah, I'm going to wait for my PC upgrade before I go back to Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm going to go back to Dragon's Dogma 1 in the meantime. High tolerance for fan service. Yeah, I get that. Like, it's almost just a matter of personal preference, you know, Noob? Okay, seems to be nothing down there. It's 60 FPS. It is at points, but it drops. It's at a consistent 60, at least. That or my Elgato's fucking up if it is. Which is, uh, which is possible. It might just be a faulty wire. Should be done tastefully. I don't even know. The way I view it is just like, I don't mind if you want to go all in on fan service. Just make sure the game's good. And like, so far, Stella Blade is great. Like, my two favorite, my two favorite games of all time are Nia Automata and Xenoblade 2. Games that have an absolute crap load of fan service, but they're really good games. There we go. build up anime stores. Yeah, I know I don't like the term RPG all that much. It's more like a tag to me than a genre description. I talked about that a little bit in the Discord earlier. And I've talked about it before in videos where it's just like realistically if I tell you a game is an RPG, how much actual information are you getting from that? Like think about it. Elden Ring and uh Final Fantasy 6 are both technically JRPGs. Would anyone consider those to be the same kind of genre? To be the same genre? I wouldn't. Oh! We got the passcode for the thing from before! The memory stick still has the security code registered. So I can go Those back, right? Lock. Scan complete. <clears throat> Instead of just JRPG. Like, I think RP- I think JRPG 1 is, like, kind of a bad term. I- I get it, but, like, it's not really describing anything. Right? Like, Japanese role-playing games are, like, way more than just one genre. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna freak out because I'm seeing, like, you know, ass cheek here, right? Like, I'm not gonna have, like, a Twitch moment, you know? But it's just, like, if you give me the option, do I want to stare at something hot or not, I'm gonna pick something hot. It's just, like, it's... Not an extreme, it's just... Duh. Okay, so it was a different thing. Wait, there seems to be something col uh, something over here. Dude, am I blind? The memory sticks fried. Was that the code? Uh, no. 
I wonder if we can come back to this area later on. Or maybe I'm just, like, actually blind and I don't see it. But again, this is, like, rewarding actually exploring each zone. I didn't expect the level design to be this good already. Like, legit. I wonder if we can get on top of this trolley. Shovel with the trolley, eh? Okay, no, we can't. I think we can unlock double jump later. I vaguely recall that from the trailers or something. I may just be completely wrong about that. Wish this was on Xbox. I wish this was just on PC, obviously. Honestly. I, I don't like exclusivity at all. Also, hello, 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 Danny. Welcome to the stream. Hoping you're having a good day. Pleasure seeing you on. Hope day's going well. The only reason I really got a PS5 was because there was a couple of exclusives I really care about. And I wanted something before I got a PC upgrade. Okay. We may just be missing something over here. It's kind of a... My one thing I wish we had was a minimap. I do wish we had one of, one of those. I'll respect anyone who isn't a dick. I don't know. For me, it's like respect is earned, you know? Got, no. Oh, I just read the rest of the conversation. Yeah, I get that. Okay, uh, I should probably heal. Jump over here. Play on Steam Deck. I want to get a Steam Deck at some point. I feel like if there's going to be any portable, like, tablet device I'm going to want in the future, it'll be Steam Deck. Though, I'll have to get a Switch 2 first, because, well... I don't like a lot of Nintendo exclusives, but they have a couple that I absolutely love. You have to cross here. Shut up, Adam. Do you see the ladder behind me? Oh, and if we if we fall down there, okay, I kind of want to fall. Oh, we gotta get that ladder anyways. Okay, I want to go under the water here. I can't reach the ladder. The water level is too low. Yeah, Why there's an the item in there. I can dive up. No, I can swim up. Watch this. I swim up. Oh, I got it. I swim over here. I get on the ladder. And I jump over. I did not have a drawing of Acheron. Oh! I thought you meant, like, fan art. I did have it recorded. It's part of the short. I made a short uh, last night, Neo. If you want to go look that one up. It is there. It has my react. A bit of my reaction. I may make a full video on it. Like when double jump is something to unlock. I'm just like a big fan of double, double jump. I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring lately. So Torn's double jump has been like goaded. Oh, I can jump up here. Uh, Can I go to the left maybe? Oh, I can climb up here. Oh, yellow paint. Okay. Okay. It's a bit of an awkward jump to the top left. There we go. We jump over here. Um, can I not, like, jump around? I can go over here and then climb over here. We vault over there. I jump up and we get some loot over here. Hollow moment. No! Okay. Moment before disaster there. Hello, 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 hello. Totally search. Welcome to the stream. Hope you have a good day. Pleasure seeing you on. Today's going well. Um, my first impression so far the game's leaning towards really good. Lucas, look up at the sky. There's something falling. I wonder what that is. I didn't hear the orbital explosion warnings go off. Damn, Rip Bozo. Just don't stand under the bomb. It's that easy. Okay. So I can jump over to the ladder here. Onto the ladder here. But I want the loot over here. 
I dive in here. We open this. Extreme nano element for exospines. Okay, more loot. Now the question is, well, I probably should have thought before we did this, how do I get out of here? It's a good question, you know? Oh! Got a plank here. Not Johnny 2x4, Ed and Eddie. Now, I want to know, can I just jump to that ladder? Or do I got to do that entire thing again? I'm going to lean towards this. There's an opening in the fence underwater. Okay, thank you, Ghost, right? There we go. Go over here. We jump up. Over here. Climb on up. Well, I think my main issue with Sony is just they played way too safe too often. Like, with the PS3 and PS4 generations, they took a lot of risks and tried different genres. They haven't been really doing that. I don't know if you want to count uh, Stellar Blade, because it's a bit different at this point. Use the shop? I really want to see this, though. Skill settings. About moving the plank. Oh. I want to go over here. Perfect parry. Make it easier to perfect parry. This is what I want. Get that immediately. Because it definitely feels the game's like relied more on parrying than dodging. Isn't shoving your face too much? Yeah, I get it. It can be too much for some people. I think we jump down here now. Wait, wait, wait. Rest. We need more games like it. Yeah. I Because remember when Sony invested in having a breadth and variety of exclusives? I remember. They used to be so good with this, and then they've just been focusing on, like, these extremely narrative-driven um, RPGs. And that's fine, because they have bangers every now and then. Like, if Sony puts out a game, generally it's going to be pretty good. They just don't put out a lot of variety or a lot of games. Like, I love God of War Ragnarok. I absolutely do. Do I want every PlayStation game to be trying to copy it? No. We can try different things and, like, try and be different. Or, just try and be a very good version of something. It was a shortcut. Oh, I love that, dude. It was a shortcut the entire time. Oh, my God. They have good level design. Oh, dude, this int this demo so far has been extremely positive, in my opinion. Hello, 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 Mr. Bakey. Welcome to the stream. Hoping you're having a good day. Pleasure seeing you around. Every day is going well. What happens in this game? Okay, so we can be fair here. The opening is basically a riff on the opening to Nier Automata. We can be fair here. It kind of is. Uh, tell me if you heard this one before. There's an alien invasion on Earth, so we come in as an aerial force, we get crash-landed, and we're the only survivor. Hello, 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 Contrabando. Welcome to the stream. Hope you have a good day. Pleasure seeing you around, but it's going well. With that KOTOR remake, making it like God of War? God damn it. Well, from a business perspective, I kind of understand it. Like, oh my fucking god. Enemies respawn! Ooh. Oh my god, it is Oh, I can feel that better perfect parry, dude. I can feel it. I think Tears of the Kingdom suffered from being safe. I think Tears of the Kingdom suffered from two avenues. Its story was shit, and the it reused Hyrule a little bit too much, and its sky was not nearly as fleshed out and developed as it should have been. That's its main issues, in my opinion. The Ultra Hand stuff and, like, the whole customization and imagination in terms of player agency and all that, with, like, uh, all the puzzles and all that, was really great, in my opinion. Super good. It was just everything besides that.
Exactly, and also been kind of turning away from, been kind of turning away from anime style games. That's the weird thing. Like the trend is that Xbox is closing up to a lot of like Japanese developers when they never done that before. And Sony's like trying to make every game uh, kind of more like God of War. I think they saw the success of games like Last of Us and God of War, just like, well, if it ain't broke. Dude, it's like the ant people from, like, a solo leveler. I hit the X button trying to dodge. That's my, that's my bad. Ooh. I got a lot of dodge. I need to know if we have iframes in this. Okay, I gotta remember this is not Dark Souls pairing, this is Sekiro pairing. You gotta follow up with it. I haven't played Sekiro in so long, I'm so out of practice. That's what we needed! Beautiful! And I love these special abilities you get. Like, this game is really early on, and the demo has been so good. Like, the breadth and variety in the combat is really good. Adam? What is this? A map. Don't you know this already? That's Egypt. It's a map. A map? I recognize the Nile River How anyway. synchronize the location on the map? <sighs> oh, are we in Egypt right now? Okay, check. Okay, reading a book. Plastic Hearts, Volume 3. My love, wait. One, two, three, two, two, three. Okay, that's the code. You said you danced to For Whom Does the Rose Smile With Me. I know I did, but can we go a little slower? With beauty, with grace, just as we were born, my little treasure, I am a hacking device. Cyberspace is my realm. I don't know how to dance like this. Right, right. You're dangerous and cute and weak. And there I won. Quickly now, quickly. Should I lick the plug? Huh? Ah, dear Mother Sphere, please forgive your sinful daughter. What are we talking about licking for? Dude, we licking now? Dude, big tongue action going on? Interact. Map stuff. Ah. Oh my god, a piano. Play- What the- oh, looks like this If this is- If this is an instrument- Fucking rhythm These game incoming. I'm- I'm devices. here for this. Redwood. So, they can only store up to one megabyte of data. More or less horny than the automata. Oh, more. Easily. Not even close, in my opinion. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, I thought I parried that. Oh. Yeah, the parry. I mean, ooh, that felt good. God, when you hit these, like, special abilities in the bottom right, so essentially there's, like, a flow to the combat. You want to do your basic combos and all that, which you have quite a few. You actually want to see the combos here. Uh, skills. Every one of these highlighted buttons here is a different combo you got. It's like triangle, triangle, triangle. Uh, triangle, square, square, triangle. Square, triangle, triangle, triangle. Square, square, triangle, triangle. Square, triangle, square, triangle. Square, 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 triangle, triangle. So you have all these combos to work with. Even this one, triangle, square, hold square, triangle. You have all these combos to work with, and you're building up a gauge in the... And you're building up a gauge to unleash, like, a big attack. All the while trying to hit, like, perfect dodges and perfect parrying. I thought this demo was 40 minutes long. I imagine it's more, it's not like a timer on the demo. It's more like we're going to give you a section that on average will take 40 minutes to complete. Can you continue your expl explanation? Um, Mr. Bakey, my memory's kind of shit. Uh, what was I explaining again? Can we fight this guy real quick? Yeah, this game's a must play for me, by the way. I'm loving this. If the rest of the game is, if this demo is indicative of the, of the full game, that's a great sign of my game.
There's a boss challenge mode. Ooh. I want to know if that, like, slip of paper we got from the book was the code to this. No, it wasn't. Okay. There was a crash. Okay, so there was a crash where part of, like, the human resistance trying to reclaim Earth or whatever. Uh, we're kind of like a, we're a soldier, pretty much. Everyone in our squad died on, like, the landing. And then we had, like, one buddy who survived, but they sacrificed himself to save us. And then some dickhead named Adam strolled up to save us. So now we're on a mission or s for something with him. Okay, down with the cricket army. Okay. I was trying to get space there, but you have to, like, perfect dodge it, I think. That timing is a little bit... Hmm. Does anyone know... People have played, do you have to hold the button down for the parry, or just, like, tap it? Okay, we can try that again. The more open world areas. Yeah, we know... I know there's a desert from the demo they've done before. Not demo, but, like, uh, trailer. I'm probably not going to play P3 today. Wait, we opened the door from before. That's the shortcut, so we just got to go back to it. Yeah, this. God, I love it when games have good level design. Alright. Come over here, cricket man. I gotta remember the follow-up. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful! And when you hit the stagger gauge enough, by parrying, you can do an execution ability on them. It's like Sekiro. Legit. That's sick. Baka drugs. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Let's go get some drugs. Oh my god, think it's alive. Perfect. Hit with one of these. There you go. Okay. Damn it. It's a bit of a time win. It's not like an instantaneous movie. It's a bit of animation lag there. So you have to time it a bit. It's not just a matter of, oh, it's about to hit and hit it now. Beautiful! Yeah, like, right under the health, you can see, like, a yellow gauge. You have to build up the stagger. Enter passcode. What was it again? Okay, beta, theta, alpha, kappa. What the hell was it again? Theta, uh, gamma. Not gamma. What the fuck was that again? Where is it? There you are. When, as I told you before, to calm down. Keep that kind of stuff out of chat. Okay. We can also scan here. Hall of Records. Wasn't that the name of the location from Gears of War? Like, one? Lament of Despair. The network has been destroyed. I'm completely disconnected from the colony's data link. We have nowhere to fall back to. Is this the Natiba's doing? Is the colony safe? What happened to Mother's Fate? Mother's Fear? I lost track of time since e even that will automatically correct itself. For the sake of my own sanity, I must keep track of the calendar by force editing my memory stick. The type it in feature. I like that too, yeah. Because otherwise I would just take a picture of it and have to like input it, you know? I'm trying to rem Okay, the game doesn't have- not having a map feature is kind of... weird. Where am I supposed to go? Maybe over here. Okay, I gotta go to some place called the Hall of Records.
Maybe I gotta go up. Maybe that's the play. Maybe I'm missing something in here. No, I don't think I am. Okay. If this wasn't the location we needed to go, maybe it's just a side area. If that entire area was optional, that's insane. Uh, it says G there. Go to the Hall of Records. Oh, I get a... Oh, I have a fucking thing on the map. Well, I would like to be able to see the compass all the time, game, please. Object is up there. Okay. So let's go back in here. Oh, over here. So we go in here. So it kind of was an optional area. Oh, now I remember this place. Okay, something happened there. Maybe we just stand away from it. Clearly, something likes to impact locations of the earth. We'll have to go across, past the parking tower. No shit, huh? Well, now I want to know what's down there, though. Right? Like, what if this cool loot? Okay, that's where we're gonna have to go. But what about over here? There is some loot over here. Okay, so far so good. Parking tower. Okay. Oh, what are you though? Least favorite UI design of a video game. Oh, Xenoblade X. May your memories live on. Body core. Forever. Max HP increases too. Oh! Okay, we got some new H we got an HP boost. There you go. I only like use social media that I can like, like I have a lot of control over the algorithm like, like TikTok. That. What's that? It's I used to get my uh, set up following page for Twitter. Who came here before. Hmm. Mostly. Looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. How come they set up a camp in a corner like this? Well, the supply camp also Dude, serves as an Dude, look how base. old this phone is. Jesus. Is I think Doctor Who in the 1960s called one his phone back. It could also mean that this place is very dangerous. It's one of those Collect 3 to upgrade. Gotcha. Then I guess this place could be useful for us. But still, I like the fact that exploring is being rewarded. Supply camps feature more devices than regular camps. You can use the repair console to enhance weapons. Dude, recharge tumbler. Oh no. And upgrade your exospines. Upgrade Eve's combat capabilities. Also, you can upgrade your drone, craft nano suits, and fast travel to other camps. Ooh. Activate camp. <laughs> the way it just like automatically set up. Repair console. Oh, I can enhance my attack. So we gain 40 from that. I don't have anything for gear socket or tumbler. Dude, no tumbler, unfortunately. We get fast travel there. Next song. We can rest there. Use the shop, skill settings. I was so hoping that the freaking trash can would have a purpose. Select blink. A fatal attack. That's kind of... I don't want that. Do I have to get that, though? I'll get it. 
to train your skills. You can what? Oh! Oh, sick! Oh, you can practice? Oh, God, I love it when games do this, dude. It's, it's, you know how upsetting it is sometimes to just be able to so easily identify when a game is made with love and passion? Like, obvious shit that should be included is just implemented. Yeah, we have a game here with a lot of cool combat stuff and a lot of interesting mechanics. Why not give you a training module so you can practice them at your own convenience? Why not? That's a, I love that. I love it when games do this. Sekiro did this as well. Select the skill at the kiosk to chain it and can do it for individ- Love this. You can also try out skills you haven't learned yet. So I can practice for the things I can I can learn in the future to better choose my build? That's great. If you are not used to combat, try increasing your proficiency with various skills through training. Holy shit. Do you see what she just did there? Okay, Crimson, have fun with dinner. Hope it's tasty. When an enemy glows blue and attempts a fatal attack, use Blink to counter it. If the enemy is within the skill range, Eve's sword will glow the same color. He RKO'd a Chihuahua. That a boy. So we want to hold L forward. Okay, that's not how we do that. Oh, and it even shows you what your inputs are. Interesting. Congratulations, Mimi. Also, hello, 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 Mimi. Welcome to the stream. Hoping you're having a good day. Pull your senior on, but it's going well. Congratulations. Oh, we did pull off it. Holy! Oh, God. It's so obvious when you do it well as well. God, I love that they show you the combo you're doing. Come on. Attack me again, loser. Do it. Do it, you loser. Okay, I'm a little too early there. Has there ever been a game you rage quit, guys? Um, I guess I would have to say Dark Souls 3 because I still haven't beaten it. I got to, like, the final boss and Nameless King and I dropped it. That's why that ga Dark Souls 3 is going to be the game I end out our FromSoft series with. I have a blood dent. I'm going to go through the gauntlet. We're beating every one. Okay, I'm not getting it right. I'm too early on this. Hello, 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 Duncan. I mean, Jimmy, welcome to the stream. Hoping you have a good day. Please, you around, but he's going to go. Damn it. Okay. Okay, keep going. There we go. Okay, now we pulled it out. I want to get it one more time. It's a little bit tricky. No. Okay. Dude, the back the backflip for style. So when the sword kind of does the glow, which is when you hit the circle button there. There we go. Okay, I think we can exit training now. Okay. Really liking that. Okay, is there anything else I can hear? Counter. Only be used upon successful perfect parry. Move quickly behind the enemy to counter it. Stuns the enemy. There's a combo attack skill. After perfect parry, hold square then triangle. Let's get that. God. Okay, that's really good. Uh, let's rest. Adam? Yeah. 
about yesterday. Thank you for saving me. Oh my god, we actually get character development here. That's nothing, really. Though I have used up almost all of the exospine materials that I collected over the years. Oh. It's alright. That now means we can help each other. I imagine they're going the 2B route with Eve here, where she's gonna be kind of emotionless for like most of the game, and then the she'll down the express her emotions like si and in like subtle ways I here and there. Trouble making it out here by myself, anyway. If you can locate the Hall of Records, you'll have done more than enough. Listen, don't worry. I promise, I'll make sure to repay you. I need to hear more of the voice acting. Her voice is terrible. I'm not... I don't want to say any, like, anything about the voice acting yet, because we're really early on. I need to get some... If we can get some emotional scenes, then I want to judge it. Because it's like a 2... It's like the 2B situation. She's supposed to be kind of emotionless here. I think. Which makes sense. Trials Evolution! Oh god, I remember the old Rage uh, Rage Quit videos about that. Look! Dude, look at this! Oh my god, it's a gaping dragon. That's not an ordinary enemy. Oh, it got a lightning blade as well? That's sick! A lightning bone sword? The slow-mo's insane. Adam, get back! Ow. Okay. Abaddon. Dude, the music! Hold on. Wow, I'm shit at peering, huh? Move in. Go Hello, the song? Dude, it's nutsack. Oh my god. Look at it. Dude, the song is so good. Where did this come from? Let me pair you. Let's heal up. Okay, let's try to heal up. Okay, never mind. Okay. No, 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 no. I want to get better at this. Okay, that's cool. Okay, run back's not that bad either. Wait, so what's on the floor above us? Go up the fuck. Oh my god. Turn race a little bit p pissing me off, but okay, we got that fine. That's fine. Good. We got that. We got that. We got that. Okay, we can't open that. Okay, sick. Let's go fight Abaddon. I can skip straight to the fight. Let's go. Okay, here's your, like, learn how to fucking parry fight. We have a lady butterfly. Come on. Turn to attack right there. Dude, phase two? Ow. Okay, phase one was clean. Ow. 
Get up. Ow. Beautiful. How did I land that? Ooh. Oh my god, I can make it a two piece. Heal. Heal. Okay. Oh, I parried ya. Okay, I have no shield. Dude, this is sick. Beautiful. Beta skill, let's go. Plot him up. I have to want to pay that combo. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. This is a really good boss, holy shit. Kind of simple, but really like it so far. This is definitely the fight where it's like, okay, you're going to learn how to parry, and you're going to learn how to blink. You are not getting past this without this shit. You're going to learn how to play. Adam, yeah, Call of Duty back. sucks nowadays. Modern Warfare 2019 was fine. I heard Black Ops Cold War was good. I, had a, I didn't blink there. My bad. Stop attacking after that first parry. I have to parry again. Beautiful. Phase two. Oh my god, the exploding environment. Heal up. Damn it. Ow. Got him. Ow. Got him. Heal. Okay, we're out of healing. Come on. Come on, ugly. Beautiful. And I got an execution in him. Come on. Ooh. Oh, right in the mouth. Boom, duh. Okay, QTE. So you can hit the wrong button in the QTE, by the way. You have to hit the right button at some point. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Wow, that's a sick transition. Okay. Okay, that's one of the best gaming demos I've ever played. What a strong first impression. I can see the space center over there. This is the turret's motion center. What do we do now? What a really, really, really strong first impression this game has. Monster design is incredible. I love the flesh horse stuff going on here. Combat, really fun and engaging. Multiple combos, Something gameplay, feeling that. fresh and new and varied. I, I like the something. parrying. I gotta get better at it. Oh my, dude, look at this shit! Oh that looks goodness. awesome! It's full of plants and little birds. Dude, it's Cloud Jr. The environmental design is really good as well. 
but also like the level design is one of the biggest takeaways for me like legit the level design is amazing at least in that one section like i'm if the rest of the game is in some way indicative of the demo or the demo is some way indicative of the rest of the game that's really good like that was any stretch of the imagination that introduction area that little city place we've been should have been bland one-dimensional and a linear corridor it was none of that it had shortcuts it had multiple paths optional areas to go to a whole bunch of cool loot that was great do we now get a gun that's insane pre-order cosmetic items look they know where their money's about to get made from how to beat abaddon yeah after you already beat it I'll buy it at a later point. Cloud and Smash. Boss challenge has been unlocked. Select boss challenge in the main menu to order in order to experience the boss fight with a wide variety of skills. What? We'll go into that immediately. From that trailer? Oh, 100%. So I imagine this is like way late in the game. Yeah, we have more shield. They're not way later, but... Rail Yard, yeah. I'm about to rail the boss. Let's see this. Dude, this outfit is insane. You're not you when you're hungry. Stalker. Okay, sick. Hello, 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 arm. Um, welcome to the stream. Hope you have a good day. Please see me around. Everybody's going well. <laughs> Dude, call me the Perry God over here. Get up, you bum. We have a grenade. Dude's got a chainsaw for a head. Chainsaw man. Dude, it's Denji. Oh my god, we play as Makama? Alright, noob, thank you for tuning in. Play the scene around. Stay tuned. We'll do next time. Beautiful. Heal up. Okay, note to self don't get like chainsawed there. Spam it, spam it, spam it. Ooh, big stab. Oh! Feels so good to pull off, dude. Alright, missed the time, missed time that. Oh! Alright, well, we got a new vagina. She uses a sword, yeah. Heal. Okay, him with one of these. The music is amazing as well. Like, they're nailing, like, pretty much damn near every element of this game. Retribution. Dude, let's go. So, yeah, if you parry and, like, you raise the enemy stagger gauge enough, you can do an execution ability. It's like in Sekiro. Okay, that's mean. Why is she changing the outfit so much? Why not? Look, they got that. They put that. You know where the budget went in this game. Hit him. Boom. God, it feels so good to pull off this. Spam it. Hello, 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 Esther. Welcome to the stream. Hope you have a good day. Hope you've seen your other going well. Yeah, I'm on Game of the Year watch for this game. All right. New vagina speed run. There you go. Yeah, there's no shot this character gets out of Smash. I'd be shocked. Okay, let me redo that. I love how the enemy uses its chainsaw head as an actual game mechanic. That's so good, dude. Let's go.
You have other skills too. Yeah, that the square one feels like. Oh, that's for the blade. That's for the blade. It's like a range attack. God, the music's good. Got ya, bitch. I got the timing now. Oh, I can interrupt them. That's sick. With a grenade. Beautiful. Oh, perfect. Get him. Get him. Got ya. So we have something called a BE gauge. Okay, heal up. Trying to get some distance on us. Stagger him. Move in. Okay. Come on. Come on! Come on, ugly! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Here we go, here we go! Boom! Got him! Got the time. That timing is really easy. You gotta be patient. So there's a range attack by like chainsawing the ground. Oh, I heal with that. Oh, I can break his stage with that? Get him. Retribution. Nice. Ooh, that's a big chunk of damage, too. I love that. Okay, I should have dodged that. Need to heal. Get him. We're low on HP here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get him. Get him. We're so close, dude. Donna! QT. Stab him? Beautiful. Dude, right in the liver. Call me the liver king. Boom! Oh, a vertical slice, dude, for you. Cut you like a pizza. All right, now hear me out, though. Fantastic finish. I normally get that a lot. Thank you. You can challenge the boss again or return to the main menu. Okay. Okay, so I'm officially on Game of the Year launch. Game of the Year watch for for Stella Blade. Yeah, I'm on Game of the Year watch. I didn't think it'd be that good. I expected the game to be pretty good. I didn't expect it to be as mechanically interesting as a FromSoft game. To have level design that's more than competent, really good. For the music to be like S tier. The music's so good. From a mechanical gameplay standpoint, this game's on Game of the Year. Watch for me. 
Holy shit, was that good. Both? No, we fought three bosses. All of them were good. Still blade at launch? Wait for reviews, obviously. Like, wait to make sure it's like an informed purchasing decision for you. Ever feel like compelled that you have to buy something at launch? The game will always be there. It's not like it's gonna go away. I'll probably be playing it on launch. Almost certainly, though. Guess you forgot about the gun. I didn't see a gun. Hold on. We can do that boss challenge again. Apparently we got a gun. Uh, what do we got here? First of all, let me hold on. Let me go down here. Planet diving suit. Second. Oh my god. Dude, it's shiny. Wasteland adventurer. Okay, let's be fair. We know where the real content for this game is. Half the playtime is going to be in that menu right there. Okay, gear. Melee protection. Protection type exospine. Damage received from enemies decreases by 10%. Shield's protection level increases by 1 at maximum. Has a chance to restore HP for 5 seconds while guarding or parrying when HP is 20% or less. Oh, we can change it up? Makes it easier to use perfect parry, to use perfect dodge, and shield regenerates faster when using perfect... when using guard. Wait, so if I want to go into a build that just, like, straight up parrying... Holy shit! Attack speed 12.5%. Beta skill act attack power 4.5%. Beta energy recharge proportional to damage taken too... Upon enemies' defeat, recovers 90 HP. That's cool. For, like, open world. Crit rate 4.5%. Who cares? Who cares? Bonus gold drop 40%. Nice. When high HP. Good. I'm looking for anything that augments parrying. Shield penetration 9%. Bonus SP acquisition. Ooh. Okay, so I don't see a gun. Oh, wow. They just, like, give you everything here, huh? And when you unequip a costume, yeah, the skin thing. Gun is L2, I think. Oh. Holy shit, we have an entire gun. Nikkei Company cooking with this one. They really are. Now we just need to see how the story holds up. That's all we need to say. Okay, I'm calling BS on that one. Hold on, let's revive. Rail yard. Okay. Skip. Also, hello, 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 bottles. Welcome to the stream. Have a good day. Please do not leave me Gotta dodge that. If it's a yellow thing, you gotta have to. You gotta dodge it. There we go. Hello, 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 Dana. Welcome to the stream. Have a good day. Damn it. Well, you've seen your other days going well. I may have been underestimating how much, rev how much like, regeneration we got last time with the other thing. We're dying way quicker here. Throw the dodging figure it out. I don't think he had iframes. I think you have to, like, dodge out of the animation itself. Like, right here? Okay. I did it wrong. You're supposed to, like, dodge to the left there, I think. Or right. Hello, 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 Logic. Welcome to the stream. Hope you have a good day. Play your senior under the well. Fuck, that feels good. I love the demo. Oh, I love it, too. I need a heal. I 
I'd love to fetch his get a gun. Damn it. Wrong time. Blue is dodge. Uh, blue is like, you have to dodge perfectly. That's like blank. That's a fatal attack. You get it like annihilated if you get hit by it. Yeah, blue is forward and dodge. Oh, I don't think I've gotten pink yet. First time playing a Vita game with one hand. I'm pro at it. Don't worry about it. We got it. We're gonna speed run using one hand. The one hand meta gonna be insane here. I gotta dodge that J Malls. Can't fucking parry yet, idiot. Heal. Oh, that's the pink. Okay. Makes sense. Heal. Damn it. We can use a gun? Yeah, it's L2. Fuck. Okay. The gun's a little bit... A bit of delay to get, out, to get off. Okay, when it's pink, you gotta, like, step backwards. Okay, come on. I have no shield. You gotta be ahead of it. Yeah, there's delay when you, like... To actually bring it up, you have to... You can see. There's a lot of fucking delay when it comes to the parrying. So you have to be ahead of it. You have to land it so your sword is up... ...when the attack's about to hit you. But you can see, if you can hear this... Like, there's a bit of animation between hitting L1 and the, and the thing coming up into position. So you gotta be a little bit fast with it. Okay. For yellow, you don't, like, dodge away. So, because he was coming at me uh, in that direction. Okay, so the X button. I gotta dodge out of that, I'm stupid. Heal up. The X special. Very much uh, interrupts. Okay, so X feels like it's a single target attack. Tri I mean, square is. Triangle's the AoE, circles the range. And X is just a stagger. Not stagger, but like break their will. Is it fucking whatever it's called? Posture. Not goddamn it. Wrong word. Whatever the fuck it's called.
Got him. Hit with this. Execution. Now, I think it's just like a tight window dump, Dana. Because, like, I was moving to the right then, I probably dodged it. Okay, blink it. And with this, God, that's a lot of damage. Damn it! I fucked up the timing there. God, this combat loop is good. So many characters. We've only really had like two in the demo. Three, three, the county. I want to get. Come on. There we go. Come on. I want to know for that combo. Are you only supposed to parry it one time and then just hold it? I don't think that's the case. Maybe it is. Damn it. Oh, God. That time for the dodge there is really precise. Hold up in the D-pad. Oh, shit! Continuously restores HP. Oh, cool! Restores a lot of HP. Yeah, you don't want to do the parry count in the middle of the combo. So you have to, like, parry all of them. It's, like, secure on that regard. Okay, I legit, like, wanted to do Diablo 4 today, but, like, this combat's too fun. Fucking dodge me! Come on, why do I keep not doing that? Are you trying to parry for some reason? Oh, get fucked! Come on. Heal. Got him. I let that hit me. Oh, that's good. Oh, there you go. You just block if you hold. Got it. God, that grenade is so useful sometimes. There we go. Get him. So you get a lot of healing this.
Get him. He's up against the wall. QTE. Big damage. Nice. Well, big in quotation marks there. Damn it. Okay. Call me a new ass cheek. Fuck! This thing like locked on to me. Let's do that one more time. Triangle right after the perfect dodge makes combat really stylish. Is it just triangle? I thought you had to like hold square then triangle. I feel like we'd be doing better if I didn't get hit in the first combo every fucking time. There we go. No, just triangle. Weird, I must have read that wrong, man. That's the whole reason I wasn't doing them. Like, holding square then triangle is a little bit awkward. Got him. I gotta remember to do the triangle thing. Got him. Beautiful. Damn it! I was waiting for the thing to pop up. Fucking pipe. Damn it, get up. Come on, ugly. Got it. Come on, get over here. Retribution, there we go. God, that's such a big chunk of damage. So good. It has to be forward. Okay, I want to get one of these counters in. Okay, maybe not like that. Okay, now I just want to go for the kill. Let's just go for the kill. I've been practicing long enough. Let's go for the kill. That's an insta KO. Maybe it's RNG. I keep fucking that up. I don't know why. I wish there was a way to just, like, reset the fight. Oh, 
Oh shit! I want to know why I'm not like chain pairing that. Hmm. Okay, let's move in. Let's try and get the introduction right here. Got it. Gun. Holy fuck, the gun ev eviscerates the shield. Heal up. Got him. Nice. Come on. Get him. Get him. Come on, come on. Come on, ugly. I need another dodge at fucking rock. Damn it. I think a bit identifying the ex exact chain attack it's doing to parry it. I keep fucking up the parry somewhere in the middle. So I take damage. Nice. Oh, come on, bitch. I dodged. Get up! Gotta dodge into him. Can't dodge away. Gotta dodge into him. It's blue. Pink is away. Blue is in. Come on. Heal up. Nothing left of the gun. Damn it. Got it. Fucked up the grenade. Got him. Retribution. Let's go. Beautiful. Hit with one of those. And one of these as well. Oh, we're moving. So you get to do the whole, the spam square when his shield gets depleted, and the retribution when his stag is gone. Okay, I gotta get that pair, that timing down better. Nice.
Heal. Got him. Come on. Fuck that up. Heal. Dodged into it. Okay, we got him. Still a lot to get better at in this game, but we're getting better. God, that combat's so good. I didn't expect it to be that fun. Jesus Christ. Fantastic finish. Okay, well, yeah. When you j when you see me wanting to get better at a game and you just see me going like that and on a boss fight, that's how you know I enjoy a game. Jesus, I'm into that. Oh my god, I like that. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna reiterate it from before. I'm on Game of the Year watch for Stellar Blade. This game is blowing me away. I thought it was gonna be at least some decent version of Nier. It's like, story-wise and aesthetically near, but gameplay-wise, it borrows so much from Sekiro in such a good way. And like, again, suit looks a little worth it. <laughs> oh my god, what is it? Hold on. I need to see what this suit is. Hold on, I just need to see what this suit is. Planet diving- oh. Oh my fucking god. Ear armor earrings for Eve. Classic round glasses for Eve. Dude, look at this shit. Planet diving suit for Eve. Edition includes Stellar Blade Stargazer suit, half rim glasses, quadruple rectangle earrings, Stargazer coat for Lily, Stargazer wear for Adam, Stargazer pack for the drone, XP gold. After tra traveling from the colony, Eve arrives on the desolate remains of our planet with a clear cut mission to save humankind by reclaiming Earth from the Natiba, the malevolent force that has devastated it. But as Eve tackles the Natiba one by one, piecing together the mysteries in the past and the ruins of human civilization, she realizes that her mission is far from straightforward. In fact, almost nothing is as it seems a thrilling slice of razor sharp action. An incredible visual experience. Uh huh. Oh, is it now? Uh huh. Is it an incredible visual experience? Oh, I agree. You know what? Hey, I agree. If there's any one, if there's any part of this advertisement that could never be construed in any way as false advertisement, an incredible visual experience, mm-hmm. Brought to life via the graphical power of PS5. Power should be in quotation marks there. A deep, unforgettable adventure designed for PS5, I can tell. I will say this. I fucking love... The emoji you kind of get when the controller vibrates a little bit. On the PS5 controller, it's like, mwah. I can't wait for Xbox to release their controller that pretty much rips off the PS5 controller. Can't wait for that one. I'm playing something real quick. Hey, no worries. I never, I never worry about, never worry about looking. I love looking, so don't worry. I think it's better than DD2. I think so. And from my impression so far, I enjoy this way more. Is like wearing long leather boots and also a teacher's skirt. She looks... Yeah, they knew what they were doing. They knew 100% what they were doing. So, Blade, the guy genuinely enjoys making games. Yeah, from top to bottom. This is what I was talking about before. When you play a game, a lot of the time, I find it incredibly easy to tell 
when they've played the game and they love the game that they're making. How can you tell in this game? One, the amount of faith they have in this demo by throwing all of this shit at you. There's a lot here, a lot of combos, a lot of mechanics that you have to learn, but funnily enough, they do a pretty good job of teaching you. And they have a training module. They're so good on their mechanics that they're like, you know what? Why not? Because it makes a lot of sense. Have give you an option to train and practice each individual mechanic on monsters in a training hub. Like in Sekiro, it works. It makes sense. For a game as mechanically, surprisingly so, intensive as a game like this, having a place where I can go train and get better at the mechanics makes for a more enjoyable game later on, as I'm better prone to understanding them. The boss fights are varied, they're fun, they're interesting, enemy design is imaginative and great. I like DD2, it's just one I can barely play, barely play it on my PC, and there's a couple of things about DD2 where I'm just like, why do this compared to DD1? Like, why give us less skills from, than DD1? Like, four instead of six? Like, stuff like that, you know? So, plus they made it so when you learn and you do it, it's so rewarding. Yes, this is what Sekiro does so well. And Stellar Blade looked at that and said, hold up, I'm gonna take that as well. Because Stellar Blade is the blend between the story, world, and character design of a game like Nier Automata, but the gameplay design of Sekiro. Now, what happens when you pair great atmospheric world design, great visuals, alongside one of the best and most satisfying combat loops ever had in gaming? It's a fucking match made in heaven, isn't it? And also, they do this shit. Hey, our combat is so good, have a free boss. Go do it. That skill reduction was weird. I'm sure that if I play more of it, I'm going to really enjoy it. It's just, I have to get my PC upgrade first. How does this compare to Nia's Combat? Nia's Combat is far more platinum, because it's platinum games. It's far more focused, not necessarily on mechanical difficulties and all that, because it's a really simple combat loop, but it goes for quantity. And it's really fast, quick, and viscerally satisfying because of good enemy design and animation design. Stello Blade goes, okay, well, we don't want to be as, you could maybe call it spammy as Nia. So what we want to do instead is be mechanically intensive. So we have parrying, we have dodging, not only that, but perfect parry, perfect dodging. Not only that, we have regular, uh, a whole bunch and a suite of combos for regular sword combat. Not only that, we have special abilities that you can build up to, to utilize in combat for different advantages. If you could see, when if you hold down L1, you're building a gauge by parrying and all that. Uh, you build that gauge, you can use a super move. You hold down L1, then the square button's your single target. Triangle is your AoE, circle is your range attack, and X is the button that kind of like interrupts the boss and whatever it's doing. So you have all those mechanics on top of that. You have the bar, you have the enemies having shielding, and when you reduce their shield enough, you can get a new, a new attack in from that. And you also have a stagger window, or a stagger gauge, where pretty much posture from Sekiro, if you parry them enough... And you hit them enough, you break their stagger, you go in for a big hit. They fixed DLSS in the update today, so with the frame generation mod, I get 150 FPS while crashing. Oh, for uh, Dragon's Dogma 2? Or for what game? This demo still made like the FF16 demo. Yeah. My main issue with FF16 came from the light up part of the combat loop, because I thought the summon, the icons you got later on were like way less interesting and gameplay wise than the ones you got earlier on. But this is a really solid gameplay loop because this combat loop does not get old or stale. It builds and thrives off the enemy design. It's reactive in nature. That's actually a really good way to put it. The difference between like a combat loop in like Nier Automata or Nier Replicant and in this, I would argue Nier is more proactive in terms of what you're doing in the combat, while this is more reactive. You are reacting. You have to go in the pace. You have to go into the dance with the enemy, with the boss, to parry them, to dodge them. You have to learn each individual mechanic. While in Nier, you're kind of overpowering them with your will because it's really fast-paced and it's cool and it's meant to be mechanically satisfying. 
because you feel like you're really powerful. You're slaughtering a whole bunch of machines and all that, and you're ripping and tearing through them, and you have a cool bunch of cool abilities. Here it's, I gotta learn the timings, I gotta learn the windows, I gotta learn the patterns, and when I learn it, it's gonna be more mechanically satisfying because it just flows better. Parry, 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 counter. Dodge into a parry, new special ability. So I'm gonna hold L1 and hit square. I can dodge some more, I have the grenade system. You got a fucking gun. At every step of the way, they're like, how do we make sure there's something cool you can be doing on a moment to moment basis here? How do we make sure that you have something cool to be doing there? Let's give you a gun if you're at range, because if the boss is away from you, why should that be an excuse for not playing the game? At every moment of time, you should be thinking, what do I have access to in my toolkit now that I can utilize to my advantage? When you're at range, you have your gun, and you also have that one range, uh, death potential ability that you have. If you're in melee range, duh, that's the bulk of the combat. But at every step of the way, there's something cool you can be doing. I'm blown away, honestly. So far, it's amazing. I'm really looking forward to this. Like, nothing but glowing marks. I have one critique. The, I am on performance mode on the PS5, and it's possible that it's my Elgato. It is possible that it's a cable that I have that's kind of fucking up, but I don't think it is because this game does get to 60 sometimes. The game drops in terms of its, of its performance, and it's noticeable. And for a game like this, having, um, what's the phrase? Inconsistent frame rate is extremely noticeable. It is a demo that can shore this up going into release, because normally uh, optimization is one of the last things you do in game development, to my knowledge. You can also close the gap by holding triangle and it feels so satisfying. Yeah. So for people who have played, it felt it being so smooth. Maybe it's just my Elgato, it's possible, but I don't think it is. There are sections VRR in the display settings. Hold on, let me see this. Uh, display. Adjust gamma and HDR settings, no. I prioritize performance here. It could be because I turned off Motion Blur and Gamma Shade, because Motion Blur was designed to obfuscate um, uh, 30 FPS gaming for consoles. That's what it was designed for, so I turned it off because Motion Blur is ugly to me. I wonder if maybe the prioritize performance just isn't working. PS5 display settings force VRR. Hold on. I don't want to reveal any sensitive info. I don't know if I could. Uh, display settings. Dude, imagine my PS5 was just fucked up because I forgot how to, I, how to put a setting. Uh, display settings. Uh, where is it? I'm going to imagine screen video. VR, uh, apply to unsupported games. So apply to unsupported games. I click that. Do you get sick from motion blur? No, I just think it looks ugly. Personally. I don't like the screen blurring every time I like move the camera. Okay, so I turned it on there. Apply to unsupported games. Turn on VRR variable refresh rate. May de vary depending on the TV you're using. I wonder how this affects my Elgato. We'll see. Alright, let's go over here. Let's just test that out. I'm not gonna go and try and beat the boss again. I just want to see how smooth it is. Let me, uh, restart my Elgato just to be on the safe side. Sometimes it just needs to restart. Though I did do that at the beginning of the stream, so that shouldn't be the issue. I mean, when the frame drops happen, they make sense because there's a lot happening on the screen.
Okay, let's do this. I would love to not get hit by that. Does Elgato affect PS5 frame rate? I have the cables fucked up. I didn't see a single frame drop in balance mode. Okay, might just be a, my, my, a, a me issue then. Because I've had the issue with uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth as well, but I've heard that game's not the most you know, stable either. I think that felt more bad. Uh, I think that felt better. I mean, I'm kind of capped at 60 FPS right now. Oh, you can close the gap with that. It's sick. Are you holding triangle? up. Yeah, I think VR was the thing. Maybe that was the play. Yeah, I think this feels smoother. At least on the whole. Hey, logic, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Just legit, that was like my one issue with it. It gets resolved, oh my god. <laughs> Got him. Boom! God, that feels good to get off. Heal up. Nice. Hello, 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 Robo. Welcome to the stream. Hoping you have a good day. Well, you see me around, but the day's going well. Stella Blade is fucking awesome. If you like controller reactivity, look forward to Ace Combat 7. Oh, cool. Got a bull. Oh, we get a retribution? Damn! This looks like Bayonetta. Imagine Nia Automata, story, music, and... Not music, story and aesthetic. Merge with Sekiro for gameplay. It's fucking great. So you can just dodge the rock like that with a perfect dodge. Badass. Move, I gotta heal. Hello, 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 zombie. Welcome to the stream. Hoping you have a good day. Pushing around. Everybody's going well. Try it myself tomorrow. The demo is fucking great, by the way. Okay, too late in the dodge there. By the way, you get a fucking gun. Damn it. No, don't call me a new pussy. Shit, hold on. Damn it! Oh, we're so close. Technically third, I, I beat it like really quickly the first time. I just want to go back to play it again. Yeah, I choked hard there. I keep reading chat, that's my main issue. PC port? Oh, nice. I'd love to do that. I want to mod FF7. Damn it. Stupid dolphin minigame, oh god. Holy 
Holy shit, dude. Okay, hold on. I always have one good pull followed by a shit one. Oh, you would move out of that. Yeah, this is way better. Lo lo X logic, I think you absolutely fixed it. Thank you. The, the performance is infinitely smoother. Holy shit. Oh my god, that's so much better. Suck my grenade. Back shots only, team. Back shots only, squad. Hello, 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 Mike. Welcome to the stream. Hope you have a good day. Please see you're not going to go well. I'm cobbling, so god. Got the parry. There you go. Oh, another one. Can we broke its shield? There's so many things to keep track of. I fucking love this. Hello, 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 War Rock. Welcome to the stream. Hope you have a good day. Please see you're not going to go well. Nice. Get him. Get him. Boom. Damn it. Move. Heal. Got him. Keep choking when it comes to cap. Why is the music so fucking good? Yes, broke your shield, pussy. Get over there. Boom! Oh, right in the heart. Get him. Cleave that clavicle. Get over there. It has a chainsaw for a head. I love this. Got him. Okay, so that's just like be patient and you'll not fuck it up. Okay, ignore that. Oh, come on. I dodged that. Come on. I choked, dude, again! Oh, suck my whole cheek! I rode on there! Hey, let's go, Warrock. Native sword's good. Yeah, I don't care about 4K right now. Especially on a PS5. I care more about performance. Nice. Get him. Fuck you. On your knees. Wait, 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 wait. Ho, 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 baby. Got him on the mind. I got him on the mind, dude. Boom. Oh, 
Oh! Oh, I missed out on the big hit. I don't want specifically j to read it. <laughs> Got it. Put the mine down. that gun on me. Let's go. Yes! You stood on it, idiot. Nice. Heal. Got him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. In the OG or in the remake? Oh, remake. I think he's way more interesting in remake. My opinion. Heal up, please. This millennium. Nice. <laughs> Fuck. I got an animation lock there. I put in my playlist. Sephiroth sounds like a cool name. Sephiroth. That's your Sephiroth's cousin. No. Come on. Okay. This character's in story. Yeah, I like that too as well. I love both. I'm just a massive fan of Final Fantasy VII. I love FF7. One of the games that got me into Final Fantasy to begin with. Shock grenades are so good. Oh my god. Fuck you. Get in the corner. Got him. Boom! Hey, heal. Get up, get up, heal. Got him. Get him. Okay, more damage. Final Fantasy 13. I own it. I want to play it at some point to form my own opinion of it. I don't think it's going to be that high, though. I'm still not getting these counters. Shield broke. Got it! Got him.
Okay, well, I kind of fucked him up a little bit there. Nice. Oh, he broke his shield there as well. Better get so much damage in. Better posture break him as well. And hit him with one of these. And a retribution. Okay, JMOs, don't choke this again. Let's try not to choke. Oh, we didn't even need to worry about it because retribution got the care. Oh, we got a kill with retribution. That's perfect, dude. Oh, that's perfect. So we now beaten this boss three times. More mature aspect of like I like that aspect too, which is I'm not the biggest fan of the ending, and I think the combat gets a little bit stale near the end. I still love uh, 16 overall. To release on PC, I mean, if they're at least gonna put a good effort into the into the uh, port, at least it's from the sounds of it. I think my favorite Final Fantasies overall are 14 in the one spot. Then it's either 7 or 9. Like, they're close. I have more nostalgia with 7, but I freaking love Final Fantasy 9. Specifically with Mogadi mod on PC. Seriously, this combat looks clean. Zombie, it's so good. I didn't think the combat would be this good. There's so many things going on, but they all make sense and they have a purpose. And it makes the fight interesting. To do it now or do it right? Ideally, I want Square Enix to do it day one, though. Um, from I will say this. I think Square Enix is going the way of the Dodo in terms of being a PlayStation exclusive. I think be on the lookout for future Final Fantasy games. Unless they're on some sort of, some sort of long-term contract already with Sony. I imagine they're going to start releasing multi-platform, which I think is the best, better play for them. Mainly because they kind of said it a little bit. Because they had, like, the, Squ the Squay Enix CEO or someone alongside Phil Spence and Yoshi P on stage a while back to pretty much announce that they're going to be working together. I don't think it was just for Final Fantasy XIV either. 16 was only a 6 months exclusive they can release anytime on Xbox and PC. Yeah, the reason the PC port taking so long is just because that making it, they're making it good from the sounds of it. Okay, yeah, I freaking love this game. I love it. Top to bottom. I expected this to be like a 40 minute segue before we go into like Diablo 4 or something and I spent like almost 3 hours on just Stella Blade replaying a couple of boss fights because it's so much fun. Like, it's the symbol of a great combat system when I just want to replay a fight, not to beat it, but to get better at it. Like, that's so good. This game is going to be a game of the year contender. For me, it's the front run. For me, it's the front runner. Depending upon how much... How much I enjoy Final Fantasy VII Rebirth from, from here on out. I think the two heavy... I think the two leads for me right now are Rebirth and then... The, and then this, if the quality of the demo is consistent with the rest of the game. That should be basic. It's good for, like, lower-end systems. Because, like, ideally with this tech... Going into the future, you can make more budget PCs hit way above their pay grade. I mean, the, th the other thing with that with this is just like the game's not gonna go anywhere. So if you have to like wait a bit, then it's not it's not gonna go anywhere. Black Myth Wukong. I've heard good. Th I've seen good things about that. I want to play for myself. It's one of those games that's either going to be amazing or it's going to flop. There's no in-between. It's like one of the two. We may hear more Kingdom Hearts 4 soon. I if think if we hear more of that, I can't imagine it won't be before Summer Game Fest. 
Yeah. It's kind of funny how Sony is, like, stumbling upon two massive wins in a year that's supposed to be the off year. Like, they stumbled onto Helldivers 2 success, and now Stellar Blade looks like it's, ama look like it's absolutely amazing, and more than just a Nia spinoff. I need to see more from the actual story, because it wasn't all that in-depth here. Like, it's serviceable, but I wouldn't say it's good right now. But, like, holy shit, this game is fun. Alright, but with that, I think I'll call the stream there for the day, because we've gone for almost three hours. Dude, I actually planned for this to be, like, 40 minutes of Stella Blade, and then we would dive into, like, Diablo 4. Because it's on Game Pass, I've been wanting to try it out, because I've been consuming a lot of Diablo 4 content. Reload was fantastic, too. It's good, don't get me wrong. I don't, I don't know if I would give it the Game of the Year nod, though. I have been really enjoying it. It should be the baseline in 2024. I agree, 1440p 60fps should be the baseline. If you can hit that as a game, you're not going... You're, then you need to go back to basics, in my opinion. Every game, unless it's a Switch game, that's coming out nowadays on modern consoles should be hitting 1440p 60fps. If you can't hit that, you've like, you have too much shit going on. My opinion. Can't complain about a beefy demo. Yeah, that's the thing, like, level design. I'm gonna, go, yeah, we have to do a mulling over tomorrow. We have to do a mulling over in Silla Blade. This game is so good. That demo is exactly what you want. Shows off really good aspects. Uh, next P3 stream may not be for a little bit. Uh, let's see, uh, we have to get back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth at some point here as well. We need to do a Bloodborne stream as well, because I need, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I need one, two, everybody switch on my beefy PC. Yo, same. I need, I need one, two, switch. One, two, everybody switch on a 4090 post haste. Mulling over is my favorite phrase now. I also want to start a new series. I talk, I have it in the Discord on, on the current series. Uh, a Jabroni's Guide to. It's going to be a guide series. The first episode may be for Honkai Star Rail. We may be doing that soon-ish. But I think tomorrow we'll be mulling over Stellar Blade because holy shit, this game is good. So I think I'll call the stream there for the day. Thank you all for tuning in. My pleasure bringing the video. And the stream, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and helps support future content, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, winners, Infant, Zombie, Neo, Robbo, Noob, Milo, Mike, Logic. Zombie, thank you everybody for tuning in. Stay safe, have a great day. I played Xenoblade 3 in a movie theater once. Noise, that's peak. Thank you all for tuning in. Stay safe, have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. Oh, and thank you, Bubbles, as well. Thank you all for tuning in. Wait, JMOLs before you go. Yeah, shoot. So you want a rock bottom? Ha! I can't believe Hollywood Rock is back. That's insane to me. Oh, yeah, I think we have Final Fantasy 16 DLC. We have big month of April, funnily enough. We have Final Fantasy 16 DLC. I think we have something else in April as well, besides Stella Blade. Oh, yeah, um, we have, I think, the Final Fantasy 14, uh, 16 collab. I want to do that. We have 16 DLC. In the Discord server, not? Yeah, sure. Um, what else? We have a Final Fantasy XIV letter to the producer. We got a big couple of months going up, going forward. If you don't call your eventual playthrough of the game Stella Blade Chronicles, I'll be mildly disappointed for approximately two minutes and then quickly get over it. Mike, that is fucking brilliant. Stella Blade Chronicles? I'm using that. We gotta do that. Me waiting for FF9 DLC. Well... I don't know, maybe 14 is, like, teasing FF9 stuff, because, you know, there's a bunch of FF9 stuff in the new expansion. We'll see. I don't think it's supposed to be teasing the remake. We'll see, though.
God, I love FF9. All right, but with that, I'll call the stream there for the day. Thank you all for tuning in. Stay safe. Have a great day. Thanks for the stream. Hey, thank you for tuning in, Bubbles. Thank you all for tuning in. Stay safe. Have a great day. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Until we meet again.